everybody, Matt Kluskowski here on the set of Photoshop User TV for another Lightroom killer tip. So this one is one of my favorite little buttons that exists inside of Lightroom. And it sneaks by so many people. Um, I actually get plenty of questions on what does this button do. So I wanna show you here, it's called the previous button that you'll find right down here inside of the develop module. So here's a great example. Let's go ahead and let's develop this photo, right? Might bring down the exposure a little bit. Uh, kind of bring down the highlights a little here. I think shadows are good. Uh, I always option or alt click on the whites and drag that slider until I have a good white point. Option or alt click on the blacks, drag it to the left until I start to see a couple little specks appear because that means I have a good black point. Okay. Uh, overall, I'm going to warm the photo. So we'll drag that temperature slider over to the right a little bit. I might even come back here and increase the exposure now after I look at it. All right, um, come down here, a little bit of vibrance will kind of boost the color. And then finally finish it off with a vignette. Just a little post crop vignetting. If I hit the backslash key, you can see that's the before image and that's the after image. All right, so this is where we came from. This is where we are right now. And then one last little thing I'll do, I'll go to the adjustment brush. If you notice, uh, her face is just a little bit darker than her daughter's face. So kind of come in there paint a little bit, and if it's too bright, just pull back on the exposure slider just a little bit, just to kind of brighten her face. I don't want it to go crazy bright, but just, just a little bit to try to even out the two people there. All right, so let's take a look at this button I've been talking about here. So let's say we go to the next photo. All right, um, pretty much same lighting conditions, same everything. And I realized, you know what? I don't want to go through and do all those settings all over again. All you got to do is hit the previous button and it goes in and it applies exactly the same thing that you did. It doesn't even have to be the very next photo in line. For example, if I switched, I just went to a different photo here, I could hit previous and it's gonna apply that same thing. Now here's one big gotcha to this whole thing is it's applying everything that we just previously did to that photo. All right, that's what the previous button does. So if I go to the adjustment brush and if I go look over on the photo, see it did indeed apply the adjustment brush, which is why her face looks so much brighter because it's moved, the people have moved. So what you'd have to do here is just keep in mind that if you do any adjustment brush settings, um, if you do any uh, graduated filter settings, if you do any cropping, it's going to apply that, that previous adjustment brush graduated filter or a crop, it's gonna apply that to the next photo as well. So if anything did move, uh, just keep that in mind. That, that's one thing you might have to go in and tweak. But all your develop settings, as they were, you hit that previous button, it just applies whatever the previous photo that you developed, it takes those settings and it copies them right over to the current photo that you have open. So huge, huge time saver, get used to it. It's the previous button, one of my favorite little buttons inside of Lightroom. My name is Matt Kluskowski. Thanks again for watching everybody. We'll talk to you again very soon.